friends uh, i have a lot of uh, friends uh, in the facebook who are non singhalis and non buddhists so many of the things that i talk in singhala language they do not understand some have made a personal request to uh, at least give a gist of what i talk in singhala in uh, in the language they understand english so i'm trying my best to oblige their request then let me try it from today so i will have simultaneous postings in both languages of course i think the english video would be a little shorter than the singhala video uh today i spoke of a very important uh, subject uh that is the word of buddha on associating friends uh buddha has once very clearly said that the impact of friends contribute 100% to the nature of what life somebody spends either disaster or a successful life so he would the says that admirable friendship alone can make a life wholesome and holy if the friends are of that rich quality uh he emphasizes that uh the friends that you select uh could be categorized to four sections i will just run through them uh one by one so that you have the freedom to read it in another place uh he categorizes the number grade one as the helper friend this is this type of friend will never desert the friend at the time of need he will stay stick to the friend at the time of need and at the same time he will protect you at vulner- vulnerable times and refuge you when you are afraid where you really need the companionship uh to get your fear out of a situation he the friend will be with you and he will be always out to help you without any expectation and he will guide you to resolve your problems this type of friend is this uh, is categorized as the help of friend and would the categorize as the second uh, friendship to enduring friend enduring friend uh enduring friend means he will tell his secrets to you because you are trusted and you in return will tell your secrets to him but he will never ever divulge it he will keep it to himself uh and also such a friend will always ensure your security he will never allow you to fall into some bad situation or into some bad uh, business or bad company uh he will always be with you and guide you throughout the society uh then the most important friend who normally uh, uh will be with us is the mentor friend mentor is like an advisor to you uh guard you from wrong decisions uh you will be discussing with friends what to do uh your major steps in key steps 
to be taken. So at that time, uh, knowing that it is you're falling into trouble, he will not keep his mouth shut. He will guide you and say that if you do these, these, these things, you will have these consequences. Uh, be careful with it. I, I do not advise you to do it. So a mentor is a very important. Mentor friend is a very important one. Uh, then he will always direct you for good actions and refrain you from moving into another uh, section. So he will always be a, uh, the best advisor for you uh, to improve your quality of life and uh, he will tell you uh, the new uh, information he has got in relation to your, uh, your activities. He will feed you with uh, current information, religious information, uh, etc. and make your life happy. Then the, the fourth one is the compassionate friend. The compassionate fell, friend who will never rejoice your misfortune. Uh, the namesake friends who are pretending to be friends uh, will rejoice your misfortune. Misfortune not only by way of losing money or wealth, but your health, your social status, your other activities. Uh, if you are down in any of those things, a compassionate friend will never rejoice it and be happy about it. He will be delighted to protect you from anybody talking ill of you. He will not allow them to uh, talk ill of you. He will guard you and further he will speak good of you and support you uh, in all your activities. So these are the two, uh, these are the four categories of friends the Buddha uh, has preached that we should have in our lives. And another, yes, uh, stated seven things that a good friend would do for you. One is a good friend, uh, admirable friendship will always give the most difficult thing at the needed hour. It is not money, the support, the encouragement or some uh, other way that has to be done. He will do it without thinking twice. And then the other thing, he will do the most difficult thing for your sake. He will not, not to do these flimsy, easy things. He will do the most difficult thing in life, including sacrificing his own life for the sake of the friend. Then the other thing is, however much you insult him at the time you're pressed with some problem, he will just keep silent and just stomach it and talk to you about it later. So those are three good qualities of such a friend. Then the other one is, as I mentioned earlier, he will keep your secrets and he will tell his secrets and this bond will go on. And a good friend will never ever, good uh, admirable friend will be closer to you when you are really in a difficult situation. Then the last thing the Buddha says, when you're down in life by way of wealth, health, social status, it's no reason to leave you. He will be sane when you are rich, when you are better and when you are down. So let's try to find good friends like that. And when we are friends with others, we have to 
be like this to them so we become good friends for them like our expecting good friendship we also have to give give back excellent good friendship if somebody has such good friends he is so rich in life because he has nothing to fear at any difficult situation he will be guided correct he will be safe in the hands of great friendship we will meet next monday until then a happy life for you